check this out. Remember we were, t what did we say was the big vote today? Didn't we just say the big vote today was risk off? And didn't we say that, oh, uh, what's rallying today? The bonds, the gold. And what was the other thing that goes in that list? Japanese yen. Look how the yen's moving up here. Damn. I don't know whether you guys noticed. Again, is it worth the price of this subscription? I think so. Um, I, I guess it was like FXY. What is that candle? Son of a... <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to say that's an easy trade to take, but what do you think? Is there any room for that thing to move up there? So that, my friends, is what we call an outside upside key reversal. Those that usually don't happen unless, uh, you know, the market's feeling a bit bullish. You can see how this engulfing bar translated in a pretty nice run there. So I, and also too, with the uh, Fed uh, meeting coming up next week, and right, probably somewhere here. I wouldn't be surprised if this thing gets repriced up and then once the Fed meeting's done, right, and then it starts to work its way back down. So that's kind of cool. Could you have, uh, you know, gotten this uh, notification, there it is, 21st of July, in your email and went and pulled up the chart and went, hot oh, damn, that's a buy signal, and then go something like, uh, J six one exclamation mark and uh or is it six J which way it is six K okay. uh and been hunting you know let's say like a four hour fifteen minute hourly setup right the the key reversal signal fired here could you have drilled down to like a nine minute church and hunted some sort of way to sneak in off that breakout? I guess that's here to here. Uh, boom. And then there to there. And we'll go boom. Oh, look at that. What do you think, guys? Do you see how this works? So you get your signal in the email. And, you know, in this particular case, it's a commodity that you could trade. You pull up your chart. Because keep in mind, the email would have come out like uh, where? Uh, I guess right in here somewhere. So at this point, you're like, damn, that's a pretty big rally. And that's a that's a that's a key reversal. I got to figure out how the hell to get along. So then we just let the market do its thing. Maybe we'll speed it up a little bit, and just wait. Right, you've already drawn the primary move. So really, it's just a question. Okay, when the hell are we going to start seeing three higher lows coming into the market? Market's still working its way lower. Do, 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 do. We've hit 33%, so now we can start getting interested. Oh, just made another new low. Oh, just made another new low. Another new low. All right, it's starting to firm up a little bit. Oh, looks like, well, oh, hey, oh, there's a W there. Okay, so you wouldn't necessarily take the trade right just yet, but, and this is the mistake that I made in gold this morning. Now the gold market. It made a low, then made a lower low. Oh, well, you can't hunt a setup there. This um, low is a 72,785. This low, 72,855. What does that say? 820, 72,820. Oh, no, I beg your pardon, wrong thing. 72,785,72. 785 exactly the same number oh man talk about a floor all right so uh we've got one low and actually a i'm um, kind of a sloppy double bottom that comes in off of here 
but two lows, three lows. Well, can I please? There's the bot entry level. So you can kind of see how this is probably going to make maybe like an inverted head and shoulders here, something like that. And actually, this should be a bit higher if that's the case, something like that. But the point here is I've got some lows to work with. We had a key reversal signal. Gee whiz, key reversals are powerful. If I get any kind of bullish signal, I gotta I gotta somehow think about getting in on this thing. Oh wow, look at that big rally. Oh, right up to the bot level. Hmm. Interesting how the bot level set itself up. Oh, look at that. Now it's playing. Okay. So we rallied up to the bot level. And a lot of times with this bot, I'm actually well served. If I've got the three higher lows, then I'm just going to place my buy order right at that bot level um, and just see if I can uh, get in on that breakout. Where are we? Something like that. Uh, well, anyway, the way that I would do it is I would just say, look at there's the double bottom. So I would buy on a stop above that so what is that that's 73025 so we've got one low two lows three lows i'm going to risk against this bottom there is the bot level they brought the market down uh they smashed that then they turned it back up and i'm just going to buy on a stop and if you just want to put your order in at the bot level that's fine there's nothing wrong with that at all uh does mean, of course, you're going to have to risk down to the bottom end of the range. And this is where it's so critical that you want to have those three higher highs and higher lows. All right, so the signal just fired. Our target is way up top here. And, you know, per Linda Bradford Radsky, probably a good idea to maybe take a couple shots at this if you're day trading. I do like that inverted head and shoulders, but let's just see what the hell happens. Bumping along, do, 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 do. Uh, slowly working its way. Well, look at that. I could have gotten filled off my level. If you didn't even have the buy on stop, you got filled there. All right, market's moving along nicely. And boom. All right, so now we can move our stop to scratch on the trade. Shouldn't lose any money. Mm, oh, look how close we came to move stop to trailing. Can't do it. All right, now we can move our stop to trailing. So now you can start thinking about things like higher highs and higher lows. If we use the three high low method, which is just one particular method, keep in mind this is a nine minute chart. One low, maybe you could use that. Two lows, that's a bit aggressive. Three lows, or maybe one, two, three. Your stop's already at scratch anyway, so just leave your stop at scratch. If we actually start getting some bearish market structure come in here, then we can always hop off. Uh, but for as it stands right now, your stop's still at scratch. Market keeps just working away. Do, 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 do. Well, we just made a new high. So if I was doing, oh, hello, and we're done. <laughs> okay, and the day's done. <laughs> so there's a really really good example where you get your uh, list of ideas in your email and because this is a commodity a futures contract you can actually pull up the futures charts and start hunting trades in that direction <laughs>